Wireless headphones are sort of a silent liberator, right? We all remember the days when you'd be bopping your head to some tune, passionately drumming away in air percussion, only to be yanked back into reality as the wire catches on some door handle. The early 2000s were littered with such moments. But let's step back to the actual origins of this untethered audio bliss. The concept of wireless headphones dates back further than you might think. In the late 1950s, the first attempt at wireless headphones was made. Not what we'd think of today. Those were clunky, size-of-your-head types linked to stationary systems by radio frequency. But it was a start. They were essentially the grandfathers of what we jam out to today. Now, if we're talking about something more sophisticated, something that really laid the framework for today's models, we're looking at the 1960s. A man named John Koss, a jazz musician turned entrepreneur, crafted the first stereo headphones. Enter the spy-fi novelty. It didn't quite spark a revolution, but it turned a few heads, literally. It wasn't until the late 70s and early 80s that companies like Sennheiser and Sony began introducing infrared. Yes, the same tech that worked your old TV remote, wireless headphones. These were still pretty clunky, and you had to be within the line of sight to use them, sort of a freedom within boundaries situation. Jump to the technology sophistication of the 2000s. We were introduced to Bluetooth wireless technology. A pivotal moment for wireless headphones was in 2004 with the advent of Bluetooth 1.0 which led to the first true wireless headphones as we understand them. Those were products that could pair with various devices, allowing a portable, wire-free experience. And finally, in 2016, Apple made a controversial yet impactful move by releasing the iPhone 7 without a headphone jack, which was a catalyst moment for the AirPods and a multitude of Bluetooth headphones flooding the market. But that's a tale of a company dictating a trend by creating a problem, then selling a solution. Let's wrap this up. Er, without wrapping anything because, well, no wires. If you're curious about more deep dive specifics, hit up the rabbit holes of the internet for that sweet, nerdy history of audio advancements. But just remember, whether you're in Portland, Oregon, or anywhere with a decent electronics store, wireless freedom is just a few dollars away. Stepping outside with such headphones, getting lost in the atmosphere of the Pacific Northwest, listening to the rain rhythms without cords. Now that's a way to tap into some modern serenity.